Hello everyone, welcome to your favorite YouTube channel, my project ideas. Today we are going to make a C++ project on the topic hostel management system. So now let's see the requirements of this code. We require an ID for running and compiling the source code. Second, we require code blocks or VS code or any other text editor for a better experience. Thirdly, we require a Windows 10 operating system or any other latest version. So now let's move to the code part. Here I'll be explaining you the code as well as I'll be running the code and show you the output as well. So here we have included the header files that is iostream, fstream and stdio.h then the standard line that is using namespace std then we have a class themed hostel where we have all the attributes there then under the public access specifier we have all the functions included that is menu, add room, display room, room selection, edit selection, check availability, modify room, delete record etc. In the menu function we have the main menu here basically you have five different functionalities that is press 1 to book a room, press 2 to display student record, press 3 to check for rooms allotted, press 4 to edit the record, press 5 to exit and you have to enter your desired choice. So accordingly to, according to your selected choice, you will be driven towards the particular section of the code. If you select a, a particular function or option which is not available in the case list, then it shows sorry wrong choice. Then in the add room function, again you need to add a room to the database. So here we have a file named record.txt where we have the uh, student details and you have to enter the room number accordingly. If the room number is already booked, then it simply displays, sorry, your entered room is already booked. Then it will ask you to enter your name, your address and your mail ID, phone number and the mail ID. And again, if it is available, then it shows congratulations, your room is booked. Then you have to enter any key to continue in this system. Then in the display room function, again you have to enter your room number. Accordingly, the student details will be displayed on the screen. Or else if you enter any room number which is not available online, it shows sorry entered number is not found or it's not vacant. Then in the room selection function, the list of allotted rooms are displayed on the screen. Then in the edit selection function, this is the edit menu. You have to press 1 to modify the customer record. Press 2 to delete the customer record. Then you enter your desired choice, the room number. And if the room number is not available, it shows sorry you have entered the wrong choice. Or else you have to press any key to continue in the system. Then again, the, you are using the file handling concept here. So basically the record.txt file here we are going to use. So basically you need to have those things in the file because some data which you are entering that needs to be verified it needs to be stored for, for future relevance etc. Then in the modify room function the new details will be entered the student name address phone number etc. Your record will be modified successfully and if your desired room number is not found or vacant it says sorry your desired room number is not found or vacant. Then in the delete room record function the record.txt file will be there and temp.txt file will be there so this is for the temporary storage of the files. The student name, address, phone number again it will be shown. Then it will ask you, are you sure you want to delete this record? If yes, good. If no, then you have to again go to the main menu and type the selection which you require. And if the particular room number will not be found in the database, it says sorry your desired number is not found or vacant. Then in the main function, it shows hostel management system. Press any key to continue the system. So I hope this code is clear to you. I'll run it and show it to you right now. And just a minute. Let me delete it. And we'll run it again. Okay. So press any key to continue. I have to book a room. I press 1. My room number will be 12. My name is Amy. And email address is say Adi at the rate gmail.com Phone number is 7890654321. Then what you will do? You will be displaying the student record. So my room number is 12. So see, this is my record. Got it, right? So what are you going to do? I have to edit a record. So my desired choice is modify the customer record. Room number is 12. And I have to exit right now. So I hope you understood the working of this code. For more interesting project ideas, stay tuned to our channel. Thank you and have a great day.